In this video, we'll, I'll give you some example where you really need to use this formula R equals to rho L over A. Now previously, we have learned that when the length increases, the resistance of the conductor will increase. Likewise, when resistivity that is unique to the material increases, the resistance will increase. And cross-sectional area increases, the resistance will decrease. So we can see that these two Okay, resistance is directly proportional to length and resistivity, therefore they are on the num uh, numerator there. And for the cross-sectional area, it's an uh, inverse proportion, therefore it's at the bottom here. So that will help you to recall the formula. In the previous two videos, I've shown you that actually there's no need for you to use this formula to solve because most of the questions are very direct, so you can solve them is by proportion method. All right. So now I will give you some example where you really need to use this formula or rather it's easier to use this formula to get the answer. Now I will show you three examples. Let's start with the first one. You are given the resistivity of a nichrome wire which is 100 times 10 to the power of minus 8 and take note of the units is ohm meter. And they are supposed to find the resistance of this nichrome wire when the length is 7 meters and the radius is 0 0.2. So obviously, this is very direct. You know that I'll be using the formula rho r equals to rho l over a. But one thing to take note that for such question, you have to be very mindful with the units. For example, the radius given to you is in mm. So first thing, you need to change it to meters because the resistivity is already in meters, so you have to be consistent. Likewise, the length is already in meters. All right. So 0 0.2 change to meter, small to big, you divide by 1,000, 1, 2, 3, so it's 0 0.0002 meters. So in, this is the radius, so we need to find, the first step is to find the cross-sectional area. Area is pi r squared, so it's about 3.14 times radius square so you get about 1.26 times 10 to the power of minus 7 meters square okay so that's the first thing that you must do it correctly and then you sub in the value then the rest is very simple just put it in times the length 7.0 meters and divided by the cross section area 1.26 times 10 to the power of minus 7 so if you just key in into calculator you get about 56 ohms all right. One thing to highlight is what if the question asks you to find the resistivity and one careless mistake by student is they give the resistivity units as ohms per meter because they can't remember. Now, uh, just to remind you, since you know the formula, you can actually make rho the subject. So this is your Ra over L. Then just replace individual physical quantity with their SI unit. So resistance is ohms. Area is meter square divided by length is meter and you can actually cancel off so that will help you to remember or recall that resistivity is ohm meter. Alright. In this second example, you are given wire A of length 500 meters, cross section area as such, and it has a resistance of 4 ohms. Well, there's another wire B of the same material, therefore same resistivity of length 800 meters and cross section area of 0 0.035 and you are required to find the resistance of wire B. Now, uh, as you know, this is very similar to the questions in the previous video where actually you can just go by proportion or inverse proportion method, no need to involve the formula. But for this case, it's a bit special because the length increases or decreases by not a very nice factor. All right, so it's very difficult to do that. So we will stick to the formula. Now, if you can, I'll prefer you to do your working this way because they are of the same material. So you know that the resistivity of wire A must be equal to resistivity of wire B and you do it in this format will be better. Okay, I'll explain to you why. So we already know that resistivity is your resistance times cross-sectional area over your L, the length. So the length, so let's start with the resistance of the wire A which is 4.0 and the cross-sectional area is given to you as 0 0.020 and the length of wire A will be 500. So on the other side, the resistance 
resistance, resistance of B is what you want to find times the cross section area 0 0.035 divided by 800 meters. So this is simple math, you just press into a calculator and you get 3.7 ohms. Now why is this method better? Because if you equate them both together, you can no need to waste so much time to make sure that the units are in their SI unit. For example, you can see that the area here involved is cm square, while the length is in meters. All right, and so as long as both sides here, the area are in cm square, they will cancel each other. So there's no need for you to 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 actually change it to meter square. All right, but if some of you prefer the traditional method, okay, let's try that also. So you want to the resistance of wire A goes to row L over A and the resistance is 4 ohms. Resistivity is what you're going to find times the length 500, all right? 500 and the cross sectional area. Now, so for this case, you have to be mindful and to be correct, you have to change this area in cm square to meter square. So cm to meter is divided by 100. So since it's a area divided by 100 square, you jump to the left four times and you end up with the cross sectional area will be 452 meter square. All right, so put in the area and you will find that the resistivity of this particular material for both wire will be 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 8 ohms meter. So if you are not mindful, you did not change this to meter square and then you just put ohm meter, theoretically that's wrong and you won't be given marks, not even meter marks. All right. So then you once you know that you have found the resistivity using the formula, I can continue to find the resistance of wire B. So the resistivity is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 8 times the length now is 800 meters and the cross-sectional area once again you need to change so to 35 and then you get the answer 3.7 ohms now of course of course if you did not change to meter square over here and then likewise you never change eventually you will get 3.7 but theoretically like I said the concept is wrong already because the units are not consistent all right so just be mindful about that now in this last example, okay, you are given wire A of resistance 10 ohms, well wire B of the same material, so the resistivity is the same. Uh, the length, the ratio of length of wire A to wire B is 3 is to 2 and the ratio of cross section area of wire A to wire B is 3 is to 5. So you are required to find the resistance of wire B. Now for such questions, since the information given to us are in, in terms of ratios, so it might be better if we can express the resistance of A is to resistance of B in the form of fraction or ratio. Now, I mean, I will just show you how to get there. Since we know that the resistance is rho L over A, so basically I will just take the rho A, L A over area A over the whole thing of rho B, L B over area B. So if you were to simplify, if you were to simplify, so basically the ratio of resistance A is to resistance B is equals to rho A, L A, area B over rho B, L B, area A. So I can simplify into this form. Okay, it's basically taking the ratio of A is to B. So that's how I get this. It's not a formula per se, but you can remember, all right, one thing that will help you to remember is because the resistance is directly proportional to resistivity and length. So they are on the numerator. Well, the area all right, is inverse proportion, so it will be opposite. So hopefully that will help. All right, now let's continue to solve. And if with this, it will be actually very easy to solve to find the resistance of B. So given that the resistance of A is 10 ohms and resistance of B is what you want to find, and because they are of the same material, this, the ratio will be one is to one. Of course, if the question can give you the ratio, then you just put it in. So for this case, this will be cancelled off for resistivity. 
and for the length the wire A is to wire B is 3 is to 2 so it's 3 over 2 and then for the so it's basically a times and for the cross sectional area the question given to you is A is to B is 3 over 5 but this is B is to A B over A so it must be mindful it's 5 over 3 all right so we can just continue 10 over resistance B is equals to 15 over 6 so RB will be 60 over 15 and you have the answer 4.0 ohms for the resistance of B. One way to check is that you're on the right track is just look at your basic concept because now the wire B is shorter the resistance should reduce plus for this case uh, very direct the cross sectional area is bigger this will further reduce the resistance so the resistance of 4 ohms which is less than 10 ohms you are definitely is lower you are on the right track all right so hopefully with these three examples you will be is clearer when do you need to actually use the formula to solve all right thank you